Our responsorial psalm today, our response was, the Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Today's saint, Saint Augustine, had a very clear understanding of what justice meant, what the justice of God was, what it meant to be righteous with the Lord. It didn't happen immediately. Augustine was a very intelligent man. He was an educated man. He was a lawyer in many respects. But in his early years, as we may have heard a little bit of yesterday with his, the feast for his mother, St. Monica, Augustine had a, a challenging journey towards becoming a Christian. He wasn't always living the life of Jesus Christ. He'd lived a life where he enjoyed many women, um, he enjoyed many of the things of this world. But the more he, does, he, he, he tried to discover what justice meant, he was brought closer and closer to Jesus Christ. St. Ambrose um, was one of the great saints who guided St. Augustine, accompanied St. Augustine on his journey to becoming a Christian. And then St. Augustine, on becoming a Christian, became one of the great writers of, of all time. Many of his writings are still reflected on and studied. They are part of our liturgy, especially the, the Office of Readings, um, which is part of the um, the daily readings um, of priests and religious. Augustine talked about a number of things. I'm going to just talk about a, 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 just a few right now. Augustine promoted an idea of justice, and specifically an idea of what we refer to today as just war. And it's become the, the method that modern um, Western um, countries take to deciding whether it's right for, to, for, a, for the military in a particular country to be sent into another country, to work out whether it is just to go to war. And to be just, you need a just cause. It needs to be not just for, for self for self-purpose, self-gain. It must be about the protection of, of life for all, about the promotion of goodness. And this came from Augustine's concept of justice and just war. He said that to go to war, you need just reason to go to war, but then you also must be just in what you do during war. And so you, you get the things like war crimes happening, which undermine um, whether a war is just. We might have a good reason to go to war but if then in war we do terrible things that undermines whether the war is just this is an idea that comes from Augustine has impa impacted philosophy and social thinking ethical thinking right up until today the Lord comes to rule the earth with justice so Augustine explained justice in an incredible way a beautiful way that still has impact in our world right until today Augustine talked about how each person has been created for heaven, that God destines us for heaven. He wants us to be part of his life forever. Sometimes sin gets in. Sin gets in in all of us. Sometimes we're a bit of a mess, and Augustine knew this as well. Even after he becomes a Christian, he falls at times. He becomes a bit of a mess as well. But he said that our hearts are restless until they rest in you, O Lord. It's one of the most famous phrases of St. Augustine, that our hearts, we've been made for heaven. And we're keeping, even though we've, we, we sin, even though we, we, we sometimes cause a mess, there's something in us that's guiding us back to God. God wants us for heaven. God wants us for his life. And this is an incredible thing. Augustine taught, Augustine encouraged um, the simplicity of life. He responded to the needs, the concerns of the world, and he responded to other thoughts that were happening in the world as well. Things like, there was a heresy called the Manichaean heresy, there was another one called the Donatists, and there are other heresies or other thoughts of his time that he looked at, he analysed and said, this is the way Christians should see it. And these are the problems of some of the, of the thinking of the time. I think this is a great model for us as well. There is the way of thinking of Jesus Christ, a just way, a way we've been made for heaven. But we should be aware that sometimes in the world, there are other ways of thinking. Sometimes these are good, and we can bring some of those with us. But we should analyse what's going on, because sometimes the thoughts of the world are problematic. 
And Augustine says we should think about this. We should analyse this and we should propose the way of God's justice. The way of God's justice is love. Not just love for self, love for everything. God has created us for heaven and our hearts are restless until they rest in you, O Lord. Let us today honour St. Augustine, one of the great heroes of our tradition. Let us be inspired by his brokenness, but also his devotedness to Jesus Christ, to the way of love, the way of justice. St. Augustine, pray for us.